And we'll kickstart this edition with some breaking news just coming in. It's a big crackdown by the Election Commission for free and fair elections. The Election Commission has asked Bengal top cop, home secretaries of six states. Top Mamta aide and Bengal DGP Rajiv Kumar has been asked as well. Election Commission removes home secretaries of Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Home secretaries of Jharkhand, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand also face the acts. Massive crackdown by the ECI on top bureaucrats to ensure level playing field in elections, sending out a strong message that elections 2024 will be conducted on a level playing field. No compromise will be allowed. Walking the talk here, it seems the ECI is flexing muscles by ordering removal of home secretaries of not just Gujarat, but UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. They're holding charges in the respective uh, chief minister's offices. EC has also removed the DJP of West Bengal, who was removed from active election duty earlier as well during the West Bengal Assembly elections in 2016 and Lok Sabha elections 2019. Ashwarya is getting asked more details on that big story. Joining us live right now, Ashwarya, you know, give us a sense of what is being said right now as to why particularly the DGP of Bengal has been axed. It's not the first time. There are several others as well who have now been axed. Given the role and responsibilities of these bureaucrats during elections, the election commission has observed and looked at their work very closely, isn't it? Well, let me tell you two things. One of the first things, Neha, that we need to understand is that once the MCC is implemented across the country, then the decision of the transfer rests with the Election Commission of India. And that's the reason why we are seeing these orders coming in directly from the Election Commission of India, from the CEC, that is Rajiv Kumar. And the other thing that we need to remember is that all these officers, in fact, most of them also hold a post with the chief elector, with the CM office. So that is also something which the Election Commission now has been keeping in mind, which means that the officer has to be extremely neutral. So what happens when the Lok Sabha elections take place? But if you are working in the office of the chief minister and the chief minister is of the opposition state, then a question definitely will arise whether the officer in charge will be neutral or not. So keeping all these things in mind and specifically if we speak about the DGP of West Bengal because this definitely is something that will become a big political issue. The Election Commission says this is not the first time such action has been taken way back in 2016 and 2019 also. This particular officer Rajiv Kumar was removed. Removed not from, from the post at least for the next two months. That is what the Election Commission order very clearly at the moment states. The question of neutrality arising here. That's the reason why we are seeing such massive shifting and transfers taking place. Yeah. All right. I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us up to speed with those details. Ashwarya Palabal with that report as to why this action now has been taken by the Election Commission of India there. In sacking Home Secretaries of several states, also the DJP of West Bengal, Election Commission has made the suggestion for all of these sackings to be done. In fact, TMC's Riju Datta is joining us. Uh, Riju Datta, your reaction to the very fact that top cop of Bengal, DJP of Bengal, has now been removed by the Election Commission of India? When the Election Commission, before uh, announcing the vote uh, of the general election, we, the Nomul Congress said we wanted a single phase election. Why? Because the voter turnout is huge, and in this festival of democracy, we want everybody to vote. But they wanted a seven phase election. Why? because they wanted to give the BJP star campaigner as much space as possible so that BJP can use the money looted by electoral board, they can use the EDCBI individually, they can use the paramilitary forces as party cadets, and now they have gone and uh, removed the DGP of West Bengal. The DGP of West Bengal, Rajiv Kumar, is not only the best officer of West Bengal, he is one of the best officers this country has ever seen. This is a clear... Uh, I'm just going to cite you some examples from the past. Mr. Datta, when he was removed earlier as well, previously our reporters have been telling us that in Lok Sabha elections 2019, Mr. Datta, he was removed. And he was also removed earlier during West Bengal Assembly elections in the year 2016. Clearly, the Election Commission is not in favour of seeing this man in office when the elections are underway. Yes, because if DGP Rajiv Kumar is at the helm of law and order in Bengal, it will be difficult for BJP to do all their illegal activities and their vote tactics. The election commission is clearly acting uh, at the behest of their political master sitting in Delhi. They in the interest of fairness, I'm just arguing, Mr. Datta. You know, in the interest yes. of fairness, many of these sackings have come, and it's not just West Bengal, Mr. Riju Datta. It's also other states that many of these officers are attached to the chief minister's office, and that's the reason why this action has been taken. Look, again, I will say this. 
there is, uh, you know, in nationally, there might be people saying Modi ka guarantee, Modi ka guarantee. In West Bengal, there is nothing other than Didi ka guarantee. Only Didi ka guarantee works. So here, the election commission is working as an extended arm of the BJP to give them as much as advantage as possible. What seven phase election, remove the DGP, and they will pull many other stunts in the next few days. But okay, I will tell you. Riju Dutta, I just I'm going to ask you to be with us because we also have a BJP voice with us. Rahul Sinha of the BJP is with us. Rahul Sinha, uh, Trinamool Congress ka ye kehna hai ki DJP West Bengal ko remove karne ki zaroor te slip ad gai election commission ko kyunki BJP apni harkate kar sakhe. Jo unko karna hai wo khule aam kar sakhe, elections rig kar sakhe. Isle election commission ne Bharti Janta Party ka saath diya aur humare DJP ko remove kiya. Aap kya kehna chahenge? बीजेपी मतलब वो तो तृणमूल कांग्रेस का नेता है जब सीबीआई उनका घर पे रेत किए थे तब ममता बनर्जी जाके सड़क पे बैठ गए थे एक पुलिस कमिश्नर उस समय कलकत्ता पुलिस का पुलिस कमिश्नर डीजीपी नहीं थे और उस समय ममता बनर्जी बैठ गए उनके लिए सड़क पे तो इससे लगाव पता चलता है यही यही डीजीपी सीबीआई का डर से गिरफ्तार होने का डर से भाग गए थे जैसे शेख शाहजहां फरार हो गए थे ये डीजीपी भी फरार हो गए थे उस समय डीजीपी नहीं थे लेकिन ऐसा आदमी जो तृणमूल का एकदम लीडर है उसको डीजीपी पोस्ट में रख के चुनाव साफ सुथरा नहीं हो सकता है इसीलिए तृणमूल चिल्ला रहा है इसलिए कि तृणमूल का कार्यकर्ता जो बैठा था डीजीपी का आसन में वो हट गया साफ सुथरा चुनाव के लिए इलेक्शन कमीशन जो कदम उठाया हम लोग उस कदम को पूरा समर्थन करते हैं और ये काम सही काम हुआ Shukriya Masa Jodhne ke liye Rahul Sinha there of the Bharatiya Jinta Party putting his views as far as this development is concerned with the election commission in fact sacking the DJP of West Bengal just before elections now to tell our viewers that in the view of holding free and fair elections in that interest the election commission is also asked uh, other bureaucrats. This includes the home secretaries of six states. Now, as far as Bengal is concerned, the officer on your screen, Rajiv Kumar, is the one who's been sacked on the left side of your screen. Coincidentally, Rajiv Kumar also happens to be the CEC's name. However, the Rajiv Kumar that we are referring to is the DJP of West Bengal, who has been sacked by the Election Commission of India, amongst other bureaucrats in various states who have been shown the door.